it's time to get into taxonomies. Now, a taxonomy is a system of classifying data around its characteristics. Uh, really common taxonomies are categories and tags, which are really uh, quite common in the web. Uh, but there could be other things like attributes, sizes, variants, all sorts of uh, different methods of categorizing and, and sorting and filtering your data could be uh, a candidate for a taxonomy. Now in this episode, we're gonna build tags, one of the simplest and most straightforward ways of setting up a taxonomy. And I think you'll be able to get the idea and see how you can apply that to just about any other taxonomy type that you can think of. All right, first let's start with uh, the visuals. So I'm gonna dive into my code and I'm gonna paste in some static HTML and we're gonna look at that. This is what tags are gonna look like. So this every entry can have tags and when you click on those tags you will see all of the other entries that are also tagged with the same tag that is what we're going to build with that in mind let's head to the control panel in the taxonomy section and hit create taxonomy call it tags create that and then we can configure it so let's go through and see that we have a blueprint automatically set up. It's called tags. You can choose which collections are using that taxonomy. In this case, it's gonna be blog. We're gonna hit save and you've just done it. You've set up your taxonomy. All right, so next time you head to your blog collection and open up an entry, you will see tags over here in the sidebar. So there's no existing tags. So there's no options to choose from, but we could start to tag these. In this case, we've got placeholder and fishing. So let's create placeholder, hit enter, and hit fishing, hit enter. And there you go. Let's hit save. Now there's nothing to see because we haven't had any code yet. So let's do that. If you're ever unclear about the name of a variable, although we're pretty sure this is gonna be called tags, right? Uh, if you're ever unclear, you can pop open the entry. So in this case, catch an elusive placeholder title uh, that's going to be in content collections blog catch an elusive placeholder title scroll down till you see your tags tags placeholder and phishing so we know we can just grab this variable name loop through it and render the data so let's do that let's get rid of one of the placeholder lines open and close some tags link up the URL and the title, refresh, and it looks like nothing happened, but now it's working, right? So we can see the URL is blog slash tags slash placeholder, blog slash tags slash phishing. So we need to set up some templates in order to render this information, but this is all you need to do to start tagging your content. In the next couple episodes, we'll get into customizing taxonomies, adding fields, writing the templates, but that'll do it for this video.